Fellow Nigerians, Igbo ma don't finally expose Igbo people yash. <laughs> and at the video, you are see for this background. If you come across this video, I beg, no where you go share this video go. Make one not allow Igbo people to come across this video because me myself you no know, say as this video now start to train, many Igbo people go reply this man for this particular video. We like say he makes so. They don't finally ask this man one particular question hmm. for one interview eh, by the Ibus. Say make you react. Make you hear thing. This man now they tell the Ibus and make you spread and make you share and make other Nigerians see everything at the year. And I remember. So, I know the kind of uh, success or prosperity Omoyele is talking about. When you talk about hard, hard situation, that is when Ibu man will bring out himself to you. Yes. The stuff he's made of. His own, uh, uh, let me say, prowess, you know, as in trading, that's entrepreneurship. They will be doing more well because they higher the cost of export duty and import duty. I'm just trying to give you examples. They higher the prices. He what? He disposes his goods. He must make sure that it goes along the index of the taxation on his goods. He's going to sell, you know, higher price uh, to at least to equate the cost price. The selling price must equate the cost price in such a way that the money he must, you know, make over his products or goods. So the, the higher the, the situation, the more the more resilient the evil man becomes. Because that is in our nation, in our nature, that is in our genes and in our DNA. Business is our destiny. There's no situation, no kind of hard policy, any government or administration comes out in Nigeria, which in Nigeria can ever, ever force the Igbo man down to his knee. No. The harder the policy, the higher the growth of industrialization, the growth of at least merchandise, the business, the, you know, uh, the rate Igbo man, you know, makes money, increases as well. As I'm talking to you now, there are many in Igbo, Igbo, Igbo newly discovered billionaires. They were not billionaires last year. But due to the kind of regime we find ourselves in, they will align with it, accustomize or acclimatize yes. to that kind of policy. From there, they will, they will spring up into a billionaire or billionaire. So, um, Igbo man is good. Igbo man is well fitted into any condition. So, um, yesterday we were having discussion about one particular man, all of us yeah. at the bus stop. Yeah. This man, an Igbo man, his first shop was broken down in Abuja. He came to Lagos, his second shop was broken down. He started selling slippers on the mirror. Today he has his shop and he's saying that this is the story of an Igbo man. Do you agree with him that, that as an Igbo, that's what he said, that um, we have resiliency and we can survive in any situation? Yeah, in every situation, uh, it just... The only thing is that you must lay your hand on something. Yes. If you allow Igbo man to lay his hands on this tire business, before he become professional on knowing types of tires that goes in Nigeria, the Igbo man must have served his master, that's Oga, yes. apprentice, apprentice chief. chief. Yes. He must serve his Oga 10, 15 years, sometimes 5, 7 years, before his Oga frees him with some money. Yes. And being that he has studied tire business as a tire merchant, my brother, if you the Oga, his master settles him with five hundred thousand. Yes. Go, go to the boy the next five years. Hmm. If you go to the boy, you won't know him again. This is what Ibos called Akalaka. Akalaka. Akalaka is here. Look at it. Destiny. This is where Ibos are referring destiny. Ibos Akalaka. are studying palms. Hmm. They they value here. Hmm. They say this is my own destiny. This is where they say that um, I tell you when it goes thank, on you, thank you so much. This is it. It is Ibo man's destiny hmm. here. That Ibo man will serve his ogre five years, seven years. When his ogre frees him, he will be contending with ogre the next ten years. You won't know who is ogre again. Hmm. I don't know what I understand. I've, that seen, is, I've seen such. Yes, yes. Okay. That is how we come life. That is what we come life with. So there is no way, no situation. He can never what you know acclimatize with. If he goes to China today, he stays in China. He serves a Chinese man, or he trades as at a certain quarter or square in China. Yes. He will be acclimatized to that square. The business atmosphere of that square, Ibo man, 
will be excelling letter hmm. and letter and letter you will find out that most of the chinese people he met there he will outsmart them he will grow his business bigger than they i'm telling you i'm telling you today that most people that are importing from china today are selling their market in tanzania angola not in nigeria so if you go to china or Pe china pekin uh, uh, or Beijing today. The only person Chinese man knows is Igbo man in Africa. If, if you ask Chinese man where in Africa, he will either tell you Onitsha. Hmm. Yes, Onitsha. Two, Lagos. Hmm. And who is the person, the chief character? Is Igbo man. So that is what God has created right from the beginning because I could know, I could remember and understand, understand when the only of Ife, the younger only, the current one, yes. actually say that history has made it. He read it in history that the people that discovered the God of prosperity in Africa are the Igbos. He said it. They are the people that make money calling God, observing I God, think. and within a short period, you will see him become a millionaire, a successful businessman. And it's not by Juju. Hmm. So that's why I'm asking myself, why is it that some persons are still believing that selling human parts, fellow human beings, you will make money? No. Why is it that Nigerians still believe that when you kill a lady, cut the private parts, you will make money? No. This thing is with God. This thing is with destiny. This thing comes from what? The same akalaka. The mark is different for everybody. Hmm. This thing is in DNA. I could remember how Ojuku's father was excelling in the 50s. In the late 50s. Ojuku's father was excelling in the early 30s, 40s, 50s as a billionaire. Yes. Ojuku's father started from scratch. Before you know it, he became a transport giant. Yes. The whole West African region. Yes. From Cameroon to Gabon, Gabon to Senegal, Senegal to Benin Republic, Dohami to Cordova. He established in Cordova. From there, a who his driver. This is a Luchu Nigeria Moto Limited. Kenedichu Moto Limited. Yes. He's a driver. He was a driver. To Juku's father. He was driving all the African, uh, West African region. Yes. Cameroon. 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 Senegal. Niger. He was a driver. Before you know, he did what? He sat on him. That is the same Igbo, Igbo traditional way of, you know, growing their businesses. You must settle somebody that serves you. Someone doesn't serve you and you leave him or no. It's an act of wicked. Wickedness. We don't do it. You must settle. See, as he's doing that business for you, serving you, waking up every 5 a.m. Every 5 a.m. He will wake up, dust everywhere, open his business, lead his prayer. After praying, he starts his business. Every day. For five years, you must settle him. Up. For seven years, you must settle him. That is evil apprenticeship system. Which has become a curriculum, a study at Oxford University, London. It has become a curriculum now. They are studying it at Harvard University, yes. USA. It is only Igbo, it is only the Jews that are doing it. You don't pay money, oh. okay. I don't serve you and pay you money. Oh. It is anti Igbo. I serve you, you teach me, I will be selling for you, I will be making profit for you. Five. Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, Look at the top here, you will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.